Hey guys, I'm in a really weird setup today. I'm just sitting on the floor because I'm cleaning. And uh, as you can see, I've got like crap over here. I don't know if you can see, I've got like Christmas crap. Well, let me show you over there. So this is a very old school YouTube video, but let's be honest, I'm always doing old school YouTube videos because I don't have a fancy camera or lights. Woo you know the deal, I'm not apologizing. I'm just letting you know how it is. Glasses off means serious business. Do I have eye goobers? For sure. Do I have leftover mascara? For sure. I got up and I went to clean town and I didn't take care of my face before I sat in a camera. You wanna know why? Cause I'm a rebel, you guys. And I've had too much coffee. Whoa, that's my second kind. Kind? Cup? You guys know what I mean, right? Okay, so I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So I wanna start doing like regular monthly like favorites, but I'm no beauty guru, as you can tell by my makeup from last night. <laughs> and so I was thinking like favorites, is that something that's me? Does that scream Kelsey Huff? <laughs> and I thought, mm, maybe not. But what is, is going through your trash. Or as people like to call, Empties! Whoa! I feel like that's more my style of things I liked and used up for the month. So instead of being like, buy this, I have authority, infomercial, infomercial, infomercial. No, 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 no. I am gonna show you what I pulled out of my trash. <laughs> I'm a trash baby and I'm here to share my trash baby information. Oh, I love trash. So let's go through this. These are things that I have been super digging this month and things that I may purchase or may not repurchase, I don't know. Because I really hate YouTube channels that turn into like, just buy stuff. I was gonna swear, and usually I do square up. Square? <gasps> Coffee, you're not helping me. I'm trying not to swear so much on the YouTube channel. I swear in real life a lot, but I don't know. Maybe you're a, a wee little child watching this. Okay, so let's go through my garbage. Hey, what I use this month and what I may be uh, purchasing or not again. Okay, so this is something that actually Jason bought when uh, we were going to uh, Iceland. I know, I still haven't done that vlog. I don't know what my problem is. I have to do voiceover for most of it. And as you can see, my voiceover's not going well. And I don't know what my problem is, but it is coming. I'm not a liar. Oh, is there stuff in my teeth? Oh, golly. He bought this from Walgreens, just like a general probiotic gummies because when he travels, he has some, some tummy issues and he thought like, oh, hey, maybe this will help out. We did, we took two every day in Iceland and we ate a bunch of like really rich food and we walked a lot, so we were pretty active as well. And I do think that this helped out. And then I like just kept doing it while uh, while we were back at home and I snarfed this whole thing down. And I don't really know, I mean, my sister is way pro probiotics and I remember going out into um, Colorado, like everybody's into like that kam kombucha action. I actually have some of that in my empties too. This is a real probiotic garbage fest. Oh, I touched my face and it was in the recycling. Gross. So this I really helped, uh, I, I I really thought it helped me. I felt uh, really, I felt really good. The other thing is, there's some sugar in there. Oh, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons I was like, mm, I'm into this because I like that sugar. So I'm gonna put that in the recycling and I think I'm gonna get more of these. And then I do get this from a local fruit and veg down the street. I like this brand. Um, I think my sister's the one that got me into this. And then, like I said, when I was in Colorado doing shows, I did this like late night show every night after the Fringe Festival and we had, um, we had some weird drink offs with this and I failed miserably, but those folks in Colorado can like slam these things. So here's the other thing too. So I'm a sober person and I know on the AA message boards anyway, this is very controversial because it is fermented. So people are like, don't drink it. It'll put you over the edge and it will make you drink again. But I'm on the fence of pro drinking these things. So don't come at me, AA people. I've made a decision and I really enjoy this. The thing is though, I don't think I drink these properly because you know, there's that mother motherboard, that's not what they're called, but there's that little like, uh, the probiotic thing is just like a weird oyster snot. That's not the scientific name, but I always take that out because I'm like, oh, I can't handle it. So I'm probably not getting all the benefits I need, but I'm gonna dole, I can do what I want. Okay, so those things are going back in the recycling, done. Okay, so I got this um, from Target, 
Ooh, and I've never actually purchased anything from Pixie, but uh, Caroline Hirons, is that how you say her name? People on YouTube are like, she's the greatest, and I watch a lot of UK uh, beauty bloggers. Oh, there's a hair in it, gross. So I bought this from Target, and I believe it was around like $26. And here's the deal, I like the idea of a double cleanse, so it's probably gonna be gross in here, sorry. Oh yeah, let's not show that. There's like weird makeup grossness in there. But it's empty, blah, blah, blah. Um, so there's one side that's sort of like um, an oil-based, or like a coconut oil, like a thick, sort of like a solid oil that you rub in and, and it diffuses into oil. And then there's more like of a cream-based side. So I like the idea of double cleansing, especially, especially, not especially, when I have to do any on-camera work um, and they're, and it's like thick makeup. I like to double cleanse. The, my issue with this is I liked it. There was not a lot of crazy fragrance, which I like in a face product. All those things are go, but it was like, like I said, 24, it was 22, 24, 26, I can't remember, dollars uh, from Target. And it was pretty small amount in there. Sorry, it's kind of gross. And I also think like just buying coconut oil and like um, a non scented cream cleanser from Walgreens would give you the same effect and it's a little bit cheaper. So I really did like this, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to repurchase it just because it seemed like I was paying for the YouTube name and no shame in the game, make that money, but I gotta save my money. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Uh, what else do I have sticking to? Oh my gosh, this is so dusty. You can tell how old it is. So I got this fresh uh, lip polish, dust it off. <laughs> Uh, a thousand years ago. It is very worn and it just kind of sits on my little vanity and all it is is basically Vaseline and brown sugar and I got it in a kit and it's taken forever to get through which I really like and it's like a super super small version of it and there's a little bit left in there actually so maybe I'll I'll get some of that out. You know, I have, uh, sometimes I have dry lips in the winter, so I really like uh, put this on there and I squish it together, take a little wet like cloth and just kind of uh, exfoliate the lips. To be honest, again, you could probably make this with Vaseline and sugar and it would be way cheap. But like I said, it was in a kit. So will I repurchase it again? Maybe because I really like these kits. Like you can get them, you know, like the fresh kits where you can get a bunch of lip products, tiny mini versions. And I love mini versions of lip products because I never go through the whole thing. Like this, like, this real thing that you could buy is like a tub. It would take me 15 years to go through that sucker. So I liked it a lot and maybe I'll repurchase a kit where it's in again. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, let's go to stationery. Field notes. So I got this from one of my Kate's U students. She was so nice to give me a little sample. And Field Notes actually has uh, a base here uh, in, in Chicago. And a lot of rad ladies I know work for Field Notes. So she gave me this as a gift and a couple of other ones, which is pretty fantastic. And it is a really great for, um, for notes. Like I'm hosting, you know, at Zany's this uh, whole month of November and it's really great for like quick notes as far as like what do I have to announce who's working tonight what are some specials I have to announce so yeah that's why I like these I am somebody who needs more paper than this to write actual stream of conscious notes but it's very good for hosting and jotting down notes of the night so yeah field notes and if you uh, haven't checked them out they're a little bit pricey I must say I've been very fortunate because uh, I have a couple of these to be gifted these would I buy them on my own? I'm such a cheap dirt bag that I don't know if I would because I like the five star, like the mead ones. I don't have any with me. Um, do I anywhere? Anyway, they're a little bit thicker and I feel like you get more paper for your dollar. I'm a thrifty gal when it comes to stuff. So I like these. Uh, I like getting them as gifts, wink, but I don't know if I would purchase them myself because I'm a cheap a hole. Okay, so now this it doesn't look like garbage because it's full, but I bought three of these, so I didn't dig the this thing out of garbage. But I really like this stuff. We're on to food now. Trader Joe's uh, vegetable fried rice. I like to eat this plain. Um, I like to put like chopped up veg and sausage or scrambled eggs in here. I know that I talked about this a little bit at my um, Trader Joe's stakeout video, which I'll link up boink there if you haven't seen it, um, to get my like full Trader Joe's, like what I get on Weight Watchers. Boop, 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 it'll be right there. And I also, sometimes I like to put the fake cauliflower stuff in there, but I have to be honest, like I think I'm a cauliflower maxed out. I know that's like a Whole30 thing where you like chop up some cauliflower and you put it with rice and like, oh, it tastes like rice. But I think I'm a little burnt out, so I've just been eating this plain and I and I really en enjoy it. Oh, bougie alert coming up. I feel, I feel ashamed. I'm like, 
A little while ago, I was like, I'm so cheap, bar, bar, bar. And then you're gonna know what I spend all my money on. These candles are stupid expensive. They're insulting expensive. They're at the point where I get mad and yet I still buy them. I think this is my second one, which is bananas. They're like $70 for a thing you burn. But here's the deal. Look at how clean it is. Look at how nice it burns. I mean, I'm trying to justify spending $70 on a candle. But oh my gosh, there's something about this vanilla. And I know dip diptyque is luxury and I need to get over it because there's a thing about luxury, you're paying for luxury. But I have a real hard time. But I love this candle, I do. Sometimes I go in and I go dot, dot, dot and I touch the wax and I just smell it and then I put it on my wrist. <laughs> Cause that's what like classy rich folks do, right? I just love it so much. I. I mean, it burns really well. I have to like clip that little wick a bit. I, I, I don't, I can't, it smells like nothing I've ever smelled. It's like warm and clove and spicy, but vanilla-y and like sweet and like bakery. And sometimes when I'm getting anxious or overwhelmed, I'll just smell this and it makes me feel better. So I'm paying for peace of mind. I really, like. this is my favorite out of the whole bunch. Um, and yeah, and it's not technically empty, but this is as low as I've ever gotten one because I'm like, once I get to a certain point, I'm like, don't burn it. Don't ever burn it again. Just sniff it. So we'll see. This might be as empty as I get it. I love you. I honestly do. But you're so expensive. Okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh, deep breaths. I'm so calm and full of boogers, it turns out. Gross. Okay, what else? Moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, these, I hate that I even have to throw these away and they're kind of gross, sorry. I, I know I took a snapshot of them and you can see like the inside, which is torn up, sick. <laughs> that is nasty. So I got these so, so long ago when I still shopped at Mod Cloth, Mod Cloth brand here. Um, yeah, and I really, really like these. They're Sperry's, s -Perry's. I don't even know, I'm not hip enough to know. Uh, I really love these for the summer. I wore the crud out of them and they're just holy all over. So I've got holes here, I've got holes here. Time to retire these little bad boys. But I love the color. It really went with a lot of my, um, you know, I have like a colorful wardrobe. It went really, it went really well as a pop of color on the feet and I'm gonna miss these so much. Maybe I'll try to repair them, but like how do you bring this to a shoe repair and be like, can you fix this? Please fix this. I think, I think they're gone. And to be honest, they lasted me so freaking well this summer. And are they two summers old? I can't remember, but I loved these bad boys. And maybe I'll buy another one. Um, I got a bunch of, like I said, I got a bunch of gift uh, cards, gift certificates to Mod Cloth when I was still shopping there. And that's how I was able to get these because I don't think these are cheap. I think these are like $80 for like a cloth pair of shoes. But you know, brand name stuff. And I really, really, really enjoyed these. We're getting to the tail end of my garbage. Food, let's do food. These, I really like these. Gluten-free, the GFB, which reminds me of the BFG, I always say it the wrong way. I'm like, you're my big friendly giant treat. So these are not really super low as far as Weight Watcher points goes, and I am doing Weight Watchers. I think for two of them, they're four points, which is not that super great, but they are so rich and they are so dense, and there's a couple of different flavors. This one is my favorite, but I also have in the garbage like a cherry uh, cashew or something like that one. So this brand is, is pretty dang tasty, and it's like all the good for you food. So it's like one of those health chocolates, but here is the deal. There is a warning with this because health chocolate still makes me binge. So this is like a little bit dangerous to have in the house for me anyway. So if you're somebody who's like, oh, I don't know, is it one of those things where it's gonna like push me over the edge and I'm just gonna like mow, mow, mow on them? I have had that experience, so just be warned. I also am like that with like, I think it's called Lori's junk food or wholesome junk food that you can get at Whole Foods. I can't have those in my house because although it's like all fiber and like natural, I'm still have no moderation and I mow on that and then it's filled with fiber and I'm like, oh, whew. Whoa, bathroom times. <laughs> yeah, this was really good though. I definitely will be repurchasing them, but hiding them because sometimes it's really dangerous to have. Anyway, these are really good. This was in my birch box, and I think I'm gonna get a full version of this bad boy. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And the reason this is so empty is because because it was, because, 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 because
because it was so tiny, when I would like screw off the little pipette and put it on my sink and squirt it on, I knocked this over so many times. And so it just like, I would knock it in the sink and I'd be like, no, and I'd scrape it out and be like, <laughs> putting it, I'm like, oh, putting it on the cuticles, you know? So I would like to have a bigger one and hopefully not knock it over a bunch. So Midnight Recovery Concentrate, I really like this. I really like the smell. It did feel like it nourished my skin. My skin, and I know it's just because I'm getting older and also the season here in Chicago, it is, you know, it gets brutal here in the winter time. It's not that brutal yet, but it's gonna get there. My skin gets very dry. So I do need some heavy duty oils at the nighttime to like replenish. So let's, let's keep on the oil uh, train. This is something that I love. And maybe this is an old lady product, but I don't care. I love this advanced night repair. And this is a pricey number. This is something that I, when I started getting into skincare, this was like one of the first things I bought and I love, love, love it. It even helped like that one time if you guys watch my vlogs, I bashed my face on the mic and then it got real dry and crusty and it kind of looked like a cold sore and I was like, do I have a cold sore? Do I have herpes now? I don't even know. Zany's giving me herpes. But I put this on there every night and it healed much, much faster. I freaking love this stuff and I will be repurchasing it. Maybe also like if I get gift certificates or gift cards or whatever the heck they're called in Oh, I just had an idea. The holiday, I might get the big one. Maybe I'm not gonna throw this away. So I dug this out of the recycling for no reason. I might use this for my travel one and refill it with like a big mamma jamma because I don't know if I've ever gotten the big mamma jamma, but I've seen it at Nordstrom or um, Macy's or one of those stores where it's like, whoa, it looks like an old timey elixir bottle. So maybe I'll get one of the big ones, but I think it's like $120, which is a little crazy and just use it to refill this. Okay, so you're not going in the recycling, you're going right there. Uh, and we're at our last thing. What am I looking at over here? We're at our last thing. This I legit pulled out of the trash. <laughs> I had to wipe it down because there was coffee grounds and stuff in there. Ew. I really love this popcorn and this is definitely a Weight Watchers find. So, you know, calories, sea salt popcorn, they have a bunch of different flavors. And sometimes I don't even get the light ones. I get like the full on kettle corn and just mix it in with other ones. Like, so I have a little bit of that and I track that and then I have more of like the lighter, lower calorie ones. But holy cannoli, this is super good. I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this. I love ASMR, don't judge me, I really love it. Whispers Red, if you guys should be following her, she's British and she does the best crinkles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's not a fetish. <laughs> it's not. You guys, whoa, big clap. That was it, empties over. As a matter of fact, this is also probably gonna be going in the recycling because this I found uh, in our storage and I don't use this for the holiday, so this is an empties as well. Oh, thanks so much for watching everybody. Thanks for being patient with my weird setup. Uh, I am actually gonna get more backgrounds and, and uh, lights and hopefully in the holidays, I'll be able to get those Amazon gift cards. And buy some more stuff for uh, filming. But that is it. So no favorites video this month. Instead, I think we're gonna go Kelsey's Garbage Hour. Oh, I love trash. Ah. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. No pressure. I mean, do whatever you want. I'm not the boss of you. Okay, bye. Wait. Not goodbye. Let me know if you like empties and seeing trash uh, because I like it, but I'm kind of nosy. And maybe you guys are like, this is the weirdest video. I love watching these videos though. I'm like, wait, I feel like a detective, you know? Like, wait, let's go through their garbage and find out who they are as people. Of course, I didn't show you my dark secrets in the garbage. Like what, holy underwear? I showed you my holy crusty shoes. You know all of me, internet. <laughs> okay, this time. You guys, my, my foot's asleep. <laughs> I was sitting on the floor for that dang video and now my foot's asleep. So this is the behind the scenes of me laying on the ground for three minutes yelling, pens and needles. Gah. Oh, what I do for YouTube. Oh, Christmas decorations, have I decorated yet? Nope, stop judging me. <laughs>